Welcome to Tips from the Top with me, Joe Parry. Today, I've come to Shappen Down Church of England Primary School in Cumbria. This is one of the top performing primary schools in the county. In this video, Year 5 and 6 class teacher Jill White shares her top tips for dealing with problem parents. Can you talk us through how you start your term off to, to get some good relationships going? It's really important to really get to know your parents really quickly. At the end of the school day, I will take a lovely piece of work or something with me to share with the parents. So I build up a relationship with them on a positive note straight away. So you've laid those foundations. OK, you've got that parent who decides you're the best thing since sliced bread. How do you keep that professional distance? Sometimes you have to keep them at arm's length. You've got to say, oh, I have a meeting, I've got a phone call or something, to make sure they know you are still the teacher, you're not the best friend. Yes. And that's really important because there's going to be times you've got to tell them bad things and obviously that's going to be difficult if yes. you've got too close a relationship with them. And also for the other parents, if they see you yes. favouring somebody Very else, that so. can cause yes. issues. And what about that parent who is in every couple of days with that little niggle or that little moan? How are you dealing with that one? Well, first of all, you make sure that they're not coming in first thing in the morning. And you have that as policy at Shaft? We do, right. as a policy. Um, so if it's urgent, obviously, we need to see them if yes. it's going to affect them for the day. Otherwise, they can make an appointment to see me in the afternoon. If it goes on, we have an emergency meeting or we have a phone call. So we have to leave them after 10 minutes, because otherwise you can end up going round and round and round in circles with the same problem. Um, but we try and talk to them, we try and talk what really is the problem, why do they feel the need to come in every single day and often there's another reason Definitely. why they're coming in. What about that one who is absolutely incandescent with rage about something? How would you manage that? Well the first thing to do is not have them doing that in front of your class. Yes. To get them sat down so you're sat at the same level. So you're not stood over the top of them, they're not stood over the top of you. <laughs> yes. Very frightening situations sometimes. Sit down and just wait a few minutes for them to calm down and then discuss what the real problem is. But keeping calm all the time. It's no good you're getting upset as well. That's going to yes. make the situation worse. Obviously, if it's a situation that's going to escalate even further, then make sure you have someone else aware that you're in a room with this parent. Definitely. Um, after you've seen the parent, always write down what's been said so that if it comes up again and it's usually changed, you can say, actually, you said this at this point. This is what was agreed that yes. we would do. And, and you've got it all in writing. Jill, I think they're super tips and I think people can take those forward and use them in their own careers. So thank you very much for the time today. All right. So first of all, you need to be respectful. By showing respect to them, they will start to model your respectful behaviour, hopefully. So you've got that meeting, you know it's going to be a difficult one. Don't sit behind your desk. Move your chair to the front of your desk. That way, as they come in, the whole setup of the room means that you are saying, do you know what? I'm comfortable with this situation. I can cope with this situation and hopefully you'll start the meeting on a really positive note and you won't have to deal with any issues. But you do. They start to argue, what are you going to do about that? Well, just listen. Don't try and argue back. By arguing back, you raise the stakes and you end up in a difficult situation. So by listening and being calm, you should be able to calm them down. But most importantly, remember, it's not your issue. It is actually theirs, the way they're behaving. And it's your job to look after their child in the best way you can and give them the best education. Mm -hmm.